So we have 90% blue skies there, a very fruitful collaboration with the Chilean government and a lot of collaboration. Diameter for this primary mirror. Um, you can see all the telescopes there as well, uh, this thing really be around the wall. Um, here's a couple of pictures just to emphasize how good. See one of the latest projects that we have deployed in there, which is the adaptive, uh, which is, as I said, a rather unique picture. And, and quantitatively to very high years. This, this was really a very important milestone which took a lot of effort from a number of people. And the radio interferometer in the world, we operated in partnership with the United States, with the National Science Foundation, and uh, we uh, operate this facility from... This. Um, this is a summary of the science that we enable to our <coughs> directly from archival data. This is data that were taken some time ago. We did their archive, they are public, all that you will see in a few minutes from now. Um, and this is the latest edition. This is the southern part of the agreements uh, with uh, this, this group and with uh, the government of Chile. There are two, more, two reasons why I'm here. I think we, we spoke a little bit about the first one, it's the nostalgia. I think whenever at the moment you are a physicist, and especially astrophysicist, it stays with you in your life. I've been, been living quite an uh, interesting life, being in scientist and diplomat, businessman and now president. But if they ask me what, where were they or as an individual, not as a family member, as an individual, your most beautiful days of your life. I would remember the days in Cambridge when I was having the great opportunity to have a personal computer in my office. I was from Soviet Union. We were using mainframe computers only to do modeling. And look outside through the glass window into the garden of that historic place and meet people who were great scientists, Nobel Prize winners, or legends of your life. So it looks like you live in he heaven. So it's a nostalgia. I'm not here for nostalgia only. <laughs> I'm here, first of all, to convey to you that I truly believe what you do for humanity is great and very important. I mean, your achievements here, it looks like there are less, there are few, probably, people that still would have any doubts on, on the accuracy of theory of relativity or gravitational theory. Uh, although I do remember back in 1980s, there were several attempts to do different types of uh, arrangements to look at it, does it work or not. They're still there. Yeah, but, but you're, you're about fixing a black hole, basically observing. I was looking at your, your video, yeah. which shows clearly that it couldn't be anything else but that what you were showing. And going into sort of another spectrum or space with your Cherenkov telescopes. And the good news for me is that Armenia has had small contribution in Cherenkov, Cherenkov obser observations because, if I'm not mistaken, a part of HES-1 and HES-2 were, were some of the parts of, of the mirrors were done in Armenia. We still have the know-how of being there. So I'm coming, that takes me to the second reason why I'm here. But I have also some missions in my life, and one of the missions is to revive Armenia as a center of knowledge, science, and high-tech. Why well, I'm saying revive? Because during Soviet era, Armenia had the privilege. Some of the Soviet government had recognized there is a talent in the country, so they were investing a lot of money and effort in Armenia, in strengthening the universities, creating research centers, and that small republic of only three million people population, at that time even less, two and a half, had a particle accelerator. I mean, that a country like Britain or France, they cannot have that. A small country 
of two and a half million had research centers or laser physics, plasma physics, you name it. Had an observatory, Duracan Observatory, that is quite famous among uh, astronomers. And the school of the school of astrophysics that I come from. I got my education not in Moscow State University, but in Yerevan State University. Uh, and I had the chance of going to Moscow, but my choice was not because it was my homeland, but my choice was because astrophysics in Armenia was stronger than in Moscow. You had very good theoretical physicists in Moscow, Professor Lipschitz, mm -hmm. well, you name it. I mean, and the, the school of Landau and going up to those who were opposing the theory of gravi gravitation, like Professor Lagunov and others. <laughs> so I think, but astrophysics was strong in Armenia, and the choice was Armenia because it was strong. With the breakdown of Soviet Union, what has been left except the history, the structure, and the school, I think there is, I do believe that I can sort of help to revive it. Not only specifically astrophysics, no. I think the aim is in the new age to push Armenia again ahead, because this is going to be an age of not natural resources, but, but ideas, science, and science-related technology. And here, this is, a, it's, it's again, I, I do feel in this new era, Armenia as a state, and Armenians, because there are four or five times more Armenians living abroad. So it's a quite uh, globalized nation, one of the rare ones that you have as many Armenians living in Russia or in America or in South America, even in Chile or Argentina, Brazil, everywhere. And uh, there's a tradition of, of valuing education and natural sciences, fundamental sciences, and I want to revive this to make Armenia gain a, a place where, where you can develop high technology and science. This is where, why I'm here, to start on the political sort of a level to tell you that the government in Armenia, in the name of President and the Prime Minister, and the government will be ready to work with the internationally renowned centers like yours in order to become your partner, small partner, but sometimes small is beautiful. And sometimes that small can be successful as well. So I'm here to convey that and to find out the ways how can we work together. Why can't we revive some, something much more serious? And why can't we help those who are a part of that to revive the, the story of uh, Burakan Observatory in the 21st century? Is that observatory, it has telescopes, as you know. Mm. But it's more for, probably, for attracting tourists or doing some small, small work rather than doing serious mm. work. And as a part of that, personally, I and my family foundation, we have a program which is called ATOM. ATOM, in this case, means A is advanced tomorrow. So it's, it's a system where you will we will try to integrate children that will come to that place to, feel the, to have the feeling of tomorrow. And it will have a part of that will be a museum, a museum of science and technology, but not the history of it, but the future of it. It's a museum of tomorrow. So you come and look what will the world and science and technology look like in 20 years' time. So for a young person, it's a place you come and you plan your, your life. You plan, plan your decision, would you like to be in, in or out? And it will be a place where I would like to integrate those units that have value, like the Burakan Observatory and all of that stuff. Then I want to, to return Armenia, Ar not Armenian uh, uh, astronomers. I'm sure you have colleagues who are of yeah. Armenian origin. But I want to return back Armenia to real fundamental research in of the universe somehow. Small, but in organized, nice way. That's why I'm here. I will take this opportunity to send uh, you uh, invitations. Thank you very much. One will be for an event that we will have on the 7th to 9th of June in Armenia, which is sort of a 
Shamoni Mont Blanc event called Summit of Minds, where we have invited top politicians, business people, uh, Nobel Prize winner technologists and scientists. And this is where I invited also Marty Rees, yeah. for example, to have a discussion about the future. Okay? But when you come, I will make sure that you will also visit and meet those people that I have in mind. It's, it's always a partnership. Well, maybe I want to do it. Maybe I'm dreaming. I am passionate. But there must be a passion from the other side. There is no other way rather than inviting you guys to come to Armenia. And we meet there. You see with your eyes what we can do. Then we have another meeting and to discuss what we can do. Even a small thing that we can start together would be very useful, I think. This it will open a door for the future collaboration. The same uh, Burakan Observatory was not made by, by Professor Ambar Suman and Mark Karyan and others in one day, it took yeah, years. Yeah. But you have to start. We have the tradition, we want to revive it. People do believe that there is one, one of the oldest uh, uh, astronomical observation flag, plate here. So we have one of the oldest professions in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. And there is uh, another one that goes, which is with the uh, silver medallion showing the old art of Christian handcraft. Instrument can be uh, cameras, spectrograph. Instrument can be also uh, built when once they are assembled, checked. They are so. Excuse me. Excuse me. The picture. At the picture up there. <coughs> so here, this is uh, to show. Up. This is the actual size of what we have uh, in Chile, and this is the future uh, size of uh, the Nasmith area, where you have a fixed uh, instrument. Uh, let's say an idea, while this size is only dedicated to the small. So this is a secondary mirror, where is it? On top. Here. Here. On top. Yeah. Here? Here. Yeah. So it's a bit a non-classical telescope. So it's five mirrors actually, not only two or three. So this is the big light collector, mm -hmm. so the, the yeah. primary. Here's the secondary. Then from the secondary, it goes actually through a mirror, so the, through the quartery on, a, on the third mirror. And then from third, it goes on the fourth. 0.4 meters across in diameter. It contains 36 of these mirrors. So in, 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 in diameter? Yeah, in, in diameter, it's a factor of, it's four, so it's... Uh, so surface-wise, it's... It's, it's, it's yeah. almost 20, yeah, I mean, it's, well, 16. Yeah. Well, that's, that's a bit more complicated because of the adaptive optics that this telescope will feature. If you put us the same thing in space, what will be the difference? Are we really losing so much? Yeah, actually the difference is that you get some wavelength windows which you cannot observe here on, on, on Earth, which you will Just get in edges? addition on space. Just the edges? Sort of? it's, no, no, there are several bands where, you, let's say, where, where in space you can observe more. But on the other hand, to lift something like this in space, uh, we have to shrink it down again to 10 meters. So uh, yeah, then we lose more than we win. So. Which is working in the infrared. It, is, uh, it was used already on the telescope and uh, came back uh, here for an upgrade. So this is as well the advantage of uh, ground base. Uh, and you have a much easier access than uh, if the, the instrument would be in space. Um, so this one, let's say, will uh, we'll get new detect. So this is very similar to Zerodoria. Yeah.
Աշխարի ամրամեծ օպտիկական դիտակը է, որ կանարի կզիներում է, ոտ տաս մետր է, սա եվ չորս անգամ մեծ իր տրամագծով։ Սվեր կավ ձեզ բան չեն, ասում սա ուակի ոտ որ հեղափոխության նման մի բան է, որ ասես թե միջև այս դիտակա և ուսկսի աշխատել, կստացվե, որ մենք չէ վատ, չէ վետ ասենք կույր ենք, ոչ ինչ ենք տեստում, եվ նորից ենք տեստում։ Բայց դիտակը սորական դիտակ չի, որտև դիտակի մեջ դիտակը սարկելիս ակումոլացնու� ուրեմ են համակարգչային, համակարգը ունի լավագույն մոդելավորման, համակարգը լավագույն նյութերը, լավագույն կարավարման համակարգերը։ Հետևաբար դու գործ ունեք տեխնոլոգի ամնան բարձր մակարդակի հետ։ Եվ կարծվեմ Չէ, չի լիում տեղադրված է, ինք է, տեղադրված է, բայց Հայաստանը եվրոմյության էտ լավ հարավերություններ ունի, եվ գերմանիա էտ, եվ Հանցը էտ, այդ եվրովայրը, հանցեսակ ուղան, հանցեսակ � Ես տեղ ամպայման պետության հոնկատարություն եկա, առանձին գիտնականներ կարով են, առանձին ծրագրեր անել, բայց եթե չկա պետության աջարդությունը շատ դրժվար է լինելու։ Եվ ես կարծում ես նպատակ ունեմ աջարդ